Good morning everybody, my name is Wes Davies. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to day number two of my trip here to Taipei. I am here again with Mr. Lucas and he is experimenting with a pretty cool new toy that he has, of which I am very jealous of. Here with this new cool toy, uh, gonna try it out today for the first time. Oh, I man. think this would be like the coolest part actually. That is sweet. Oh, it's so stable. This is where we're going to go for lunch. Uh, I scoured the internet, scoured Google Maps, until I found what looked to me a really authentic Sichuan noodle restaurant. We're finally at a sh proper Sichuan restaurant, which is something that I've been looking for for literally a year now. Uh, ever since I saw the Food Rangers video on Sichuan food, I've wanted to try this so badly. For some reason, I think in Kaohsiung, it's a little bit hard to find. I think in the south, they just prefer things a little more sweet. So that's one of the reasons why I really wanted to come up to Taipei. We're gonna try this chicken. Just look at that, covered in red oil. Let's give it a shot. Wow. That tastes exactly what I was hoping it would taste like. That is so good. Mmm. And right away you can taste those Sichuan peppercorns. Kind of like numb your mouth immediately. Wow, that is really good. You gotta try this, Lucas? No. Look at that. It's dripping in red oil. So Lucas has already systematically removed all of the spicy stuff from his dish of noodles. Yeah, it's all it's all right there in the spoon. I really don't like spicy noodles. Feels like whenever I'm with you, you don't like whatever food we're eating. <laughs> No, I mean, this is good. Is it? It's just like plain noodles. Okay. But, but like this looks like suicide dish right there. So this is the second dish I got. Looks really good. A little bit plain. I mean, I was hoping there would be like drenched in red oil or something, but it actually looks really tasty. Give it a little mix here. Oops. This, I would say like it's, it's spicy, but it's like I can, handle, I can handle it. So is it a little bit spicy? No, no. It's a little bit spicy. Like. <laughs> The lao bang was like, okay, this is not spicy, like not spicy at all. And I'll be like, I'm gonna take this one, but it's it's spicy, <laughs> but it's but it's not like too spicy. It's yeah. uh, manageable. Okay, I was wrong when I said they were plain. There's actually a bunch of red oil swimming at the bottom of that. So you just kind of mix it all up, and the noodles get coated. This is literally exactly what I wanted to find. Okay. Wow. Here goes nothing. It's so good. It's so good. Man, we have to find this in Kaohsiung. I really love the taste of those Sichuan peppercorns. It's kind of like peppery, spicy, <laughs> numbing, and a little bit lemony or something. It's it's so good. If, if any of you guys know a place that serves this kind of food in Kaohsiung, please let me know. I will be forever grateful to you. These are the spicy wontons. They look equally amazing. Wow. How good that looks. I am totally in food heaven right now, guys. This is exactly the meal that I was hoping to find when I came to Taipei this weekend. What's you up to, Lucas? This guy. I'm trying to compensate for the video we did when I had my GoPro and you had your full-scale camera equipment, so. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So I feel like uh, today, signs do matter. Uh huh. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta be careful with this guy. Leave him for a couple months and he just shows up with way better equipment than me. It's pretty fancy though. Super fancy. Careful. Woo, what an amazing lunch. That food was, as I said, exactly what I was hoping to find on this trip to Taipei. It was incredibly delicious. I will put the address right down below. If you guys are in Taipei, you have to check this out. And the interesting thing was, uh, a lot of the people in the restaurant were actually from mainland China. So that's how you know it's good. But do you know, do you want to know the coolest part about this gimbal? Yeah. Selfie mode. This is so cool. I feel like a professional now. You and look like a professional too. Thank you. And check this out. Oh man. Okay, I know what I want for Christmas. Okay. I can't do it anymore, I'm too jealous. Anyway, what we are gonna do today is that we are gonna show Wes why Taipei is the best city in Taiwan. Oh, come on. So we're gonna make him move up here. And we only have a few hours. So we are gonna take 
Lucas Engstrom Ultimate Taipei, Ultimate Downtown Taipei tour right now. We are gonna check out Sun Yat-sen, City Hall, Shinichu, Taipei 101, and then we're gonna end this video up at Elephant Mountain. It's gonna be great. It's funny, all of a sudden I recognize this Louisa Coffey as being the one from Francois's new video. Uh, he did a scene right over at that table there where he left his camera on the table and then came over here and ordered. And of course he came back and nobody had touched or stolen his phone or camera. So yeah, that's uh, the famous table right over there. Okay, so I have to admit that I bought this camera, it's the Canon M50, because I wanted something small and compact for my hiking videos. But this gimbal weighs the same as 10 of these cameras, so it's, uh, it's not that smart. Free hugs. <laughs> How tall are you? 193. Wow! Okay. Okay, thank you. How thank you, you can share this activity uh, to your family and your friends? Okay? Free hugs? Yeah, free hugs for okay, your family love. and your friends. Love. Okay. Oh, love. Uh, yeah. Love nice and hugs. Yes. Yeah. 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 Sounds thank you. great. Have a nice you day. Too. You too. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Maybe people in Taipei are super friendly. We just got a couple of free hugs. That was nice. They told me to share the love and share the free hugs. So if you guys are with somebody you care about or even a total stranger, follow their advice and give them some free hugs and a little bit of love. Okay, so we just got to the Sun Yat-sen Memorial Hall and we're about to go inside. This looks like a really beautiful building. We're about to go inside and see the changing of the guard. We are at Xinyi District, which uh, Lucas just told me. It's one of the main shopping districts in Taipei. Uh, it stretches from City Hall all the way to Taipei 101, which is where we're going now. I am definitely enjoying this uh, district of Taipei. It is completely different than anything we have in Kaohsiung, that's for sure. Uh, the architecture is really impressive. Everything is super colorful, clean, uh, laid out really well for pedestrians. I can't wait to keep on going and check out Taipei 101. Here we are at the base of the world famous Taipei 101. And you know, <laughs> you see it all the time in pictures, but just to be here right beside it is very impressive. It's pretty neat. This little machine here is uh, drawing those buildings. Pretty cool. It is pretty cool. You should definitely move here, Wes. <laughs> we'll uh, talk about that later. 101 shopping mall. I'm gonna show you what I think is the most fanciest uh, stores ever. Like. It's a store inside a shopping mall that has its own bridge. This is all pretty opulent. Like, it just feels like there's so much money here. If you want to go up to 101, it's in there. Yeah. It's 600 NT. I have no money, no more, so uh, you go ahead. It is pretty cloudy. Probably give it a pass. We should. But is there like another way we can see a better view? If only there was one place in Taipei where we could have an even better view than 101. Yeah? Uh, now when I think about it, we should head up Elephant Mountain. Elephant Mountain. Elephant Mountain. Are these the bridges you were talking about? Like I'm pretty sure I stood exactly here like eight years ago and I was just thought to myself like this is unbelievable. You have all these stores, they have their own bridge. You literally have to cross a bridge to go into Louis Vuitton right here. And I just, it blew my mind then and it still blows my mind right now. It's pretty nice in here, I gotta say. Yeah. Like my favorite part of 101 is actually not going up the tower. My favorite part of 101 is to come here and to just like see all of this like opulence. Opulence. Like this is luxury, but it, I mean it's free to stand here and look at it, right? Yeah. And I just feel like free for guys like us. It's free for guys for us, yes. It's gonna cost you a fortune if you want to cross that bridge. But standing here looking at it, I just this is the coolest part about 101. 
You heard it from Lucas. Uh, we're not gonna go up to the top of Taipei 1 today. Two reasons, it's a little bit cloudy, overcast, foggy, so we probably wouldn't get the best view anyways. And it's 600 NT, I mean that's almost half the price of my HSR ticket to get back down to Kaohsiung. So today is not the day for that, but uh, I'm really happy to be here. This is great, I love seeing this. We have arrived at uh, the next spot on Lucas's Grand Taipei for Beginners Tour, which is right here, it's Elephant Mountain. Uh, it's actually in this really nice, quiet little neighborhood. Definitely colder in Taipei than it is in Kaohsiung, that's for sure. If any of you are not already subscribed to Lucas's channel, please pause this and go and do that right now. I will put a link right at the bottom here of Lucas's channel. It's awesome. He does all kinds of videos up here in the north of Taiwan. These stairs are steep. I'm from Kaohsiung. Our city is relatively flat, okay? I'm not used to this. I mean, I'm bringing this bad boy up. <laughs> no problem, no problem. He makes a good point. I guess I shouldn't complain too much, right? Status update. Found a nice little tree here to uh, relax on for a little second while, uh, while the other guys catch up with me. This is nothing compared to Hu Liao Jian. He should have been there. Almost halfway, he says, we're gonna keep going. There's Taipei, we made it. We made it to the top of Elephant Mountain. I'm not gonna say that was easy, it was actually quite difficult, but obviously as you can see, very worth it. It is beautiful up here. It's, it's a really cool city. I would love to spend more time here. Uh, obviously I didn't really explore anything at all except for the quick tour that Lucas gave me. So I will be back to Taipei, I will give it another shot. So that will be it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, Lucas and I are devising a little bit of a plan. As you guys know, the long weekend is coming up and I saw Lucas's video on Kending, which I will link right up top here. It looked like you guys had a great time. It was the best time. Kending is the best spot in Taiwan. Yeah, you said I it's would, your favorite. It's my absolute favorite. I would love to take you. I would love to go. So you wanna go next weekend? That sounds good to me. So you guys heard it here first, we are going to be in Kending next weekend for the long weekend. I can't wait to check that out. I haven't been down there yet. I'm gonna drive my scooter. I'm gonna take the high speed train. He's <laughs> gonna take the high speed train. Please subscribe to Lucas's channel. Make sure you check him out. I will link everything down below. And if you are new here, subscribe to my channel as well and give this video a big thumbs up. Thank you everyone for watching. I will see you in the next one. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> like, you're gonna say goodbye. <laughs> and goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>